what's up i'm brit and today i'm going to talk to you guys about assemblage art and if you don't know what that is um i'll give you like what i think it is um basically it's taking a bunch of nothings and making a specific something um so in my case i took a bunch of nothings that were unrelated to each other and i made something for myself um, I made a self-portrait, and I made a self-portrait because... Why? Why did I make a self-portrait? I didn't really want to make art about anything else, um, and at the time, I wanted to make something for myself, and so I took the opportunity in this assignment, and I made a self-portrait. And I don't really like self-portraits, um, mainly because I took a class where I had to make a self-portrait drawing every week, and I just ended up hating that. So, um, I'm glad that I was able to tackle on a self-portrait through another form of art, which I actually do prefer this form of art. Um, so let me show you my self-portrait. It's 20-something. And I titled it after a song that actually influenced this, and it's 20-something by SZA, and we're gonna get into that a little bit later. But for now, let's analyze the composition very quickly. So... This is a box, ghost paper, cat stickers, uh, candle dripping, uh, image in the center, hearts surrounding that image, wire surrounding that image, lyrics surrounding that image, candle wax surrounding that image. Um, so, you know, the main con, the main, main subject matter is me. And I... I guess you could say I used a layering technique, um, cause that's basically what I did. I layered, um, everything to add depth, um, but, you know, although there's like so many things that you want to look at, your eyes always return back to me. Um, and actually I was told that by an, an art professor that to stay away from centralizing subject matter because it's boring. I didn't listen to her, as you can tell. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> I also had another professor that, you know, you're not obligated to take the advice that you're given. Um, you know, it helps if you do, but, you know, I mean, anyways. <laughs> So, um, let's start with the box. So, I started off using this paper to cover the, um, I don't even know what it, the cardboard? It's not cardboard, it's, it's something tougher than cardboard. But anyways, so I used this, uh, ghost paper, uh, to cover the box. But I realized that I didn't really like how it was coming out, so I kept it on the back. And, um, I covered the rest of the box with black paper, um, which I ended up liking a whole lot more. So, um, I went from there. Um, after I added the black paper, I started with the image. And I took some time to figure out what image I wanted to use because, again, I wasn't really sure what image I wanted to use. And then I saw this one and I was like, that's, that's the one. That, that is the one. It just portrays me the way that I want to be portrayed, which is dramatic, silly, and, um, yeah, so that's the image. And this image was taken in 2017 at the Ice Cream Museum, and it was taken, the image was taken by my sister, um, but I want the focus to be on the year 2017 because there's going to be a few other things that are related to this year. So, also you're probably going to ask, why are you posed like that? Um, I'm posed like this because of a thing that I had with my best friend. Um, she thought it was ridiculous that I would pose like this a lot, um, just like on the floor dramatically. So I made it my mission in life to do that and send her every picture that I took like that. Um, yeah. <laughs> Alright, let's move on to another aspect of this. Um, the hearts and the purple wire. So... I position the hearts to be, I guess you can consider this north, east, west, west and south, um, or, like, 
or like I'm looking above, I have hearts below, and then hearts on the same level as me. So you can probably take that as an as above, so below, and then everything else meets in the middle. Um, and I was just really just messing with like the placement of the wire and hearts while I was adding it because I wasn't sure exactly how I wanted to frame the image with the, the wire and the hearts. So I started off with this one, um, and then I also got playful with the wire, you know, I, as you can see, I did loops, I did another heart, um, and then what I did to, um, have the wire stick onto the sides is I made an L shape, and then I got glue and, uh, the black paper, um, so that you wouldn't be able, so it wouldn't be noticeable. And it would just blend in. Um, and then I glued it down to the walls. And that's how it, it's holding its place. Um, so I did that with each wire. Um, and I chose the wire and the hearts. So these two... Uh, not the, It's not two objects. But like... The buttons and the wire came in... A package that I got from my professor to use for this assignment and by default I knew I was going to use the wire because it's purple purple is my favorite color and the hearts I knew I was going to eventually use them for something um, I just think they're precious the design the brassiness um, I feel like although there's color coming from the image it doesn't it's not an ugly contrast with the with the brass um, and Knowing that there was going to be color in the image, I wanted to keep the color of the box uh, monochromatic, just black and white. Um, so, yeah. And also, I'm actually really happy that I got these heart buttons, because hearts are a simple, um, it's simple symbolism for love. And what I'm trying to portray here is just, you know, self-love. Um, so, yeah. Alright, let's move on to the next aspect of this, which is the song lyrics. So I have a paper with lyrics here, here, and here. And these two, ooh, these two, these two papers are, I glue them on to the plastic, or the clear cover. But the last paper, I didn't want to do that. I wanted to try something else to see how it would look, and I actually liked the outcome. Um, I wanted there to be more depth. For this one, um, ironic, but yeah, <laughs> well not ironic, but it, if I break it down more, um, I'll break it down more later, you know what, I'll get to that later. So I used song lyrics from the song 20 something by SZA and that's from her control album that came, that dropped, excuse me, that dropped in 2017, which was the year that the photo was taken. Um, and I like to say 2017 was a really good year for me. I, I experienced a lot. It was fun. Um, and that album dropped, so, you know. <laughs> anytime there's good music during a year, it's, it's a good year. But anyways, so let me break down the lyrics that I chose to have in this um, self-portrait. So, hoping my 20-somethings won't end. Hoping to keep the rest of my friends. Praying the 20-somethings don't kill me. Kill me. So... Hoping my 20-somethings won't end. I'm 25 at the moment. I turned 25 about a week and a half ago, two weeks ago. Um, when that image, when this image was taken, I was 21. I was turning 22 that year. Um, and hoping my 20-somethings won't end. I feel like I'm able to connect with that line so much more after turning 25. Um, 25 feels nice. 25 feels grown 25 feels amazing right now and uh, to be completely honest if i start growing more which i mean you know in age obviously i will but if anyone asks me how old i am once i'm no longer 25 all i'm going to tell them is i'm going to i'm 25 i'm going to lie about my age that's a fact <laughs> all right um Hoping to keep the rest of my friends. 
So, since 2017 and 2020, um, I've lost friends and I've gained friends. And, um, you know, I've lost some important people, um, but I've been, you know, blessed enough to have them come back into my life. And I've been blessed with an amazing network of friends um, that are dominantly women, um, predominantly women. And I love that. I love the divine feminine energy. Um, so, yeah, I'm hoping to keep the rest of my friends until, you know, I get old and wrinkly. Um, I mean, I'm already wrinkly. My dry hands. Moisturize. Moisturize, please. Elbows, hands, feet, legs, ankles, knees, elbows, moisturize. All right. Um, so the last line. Praying the 20-somethings don't kill me. Kill me. So that can be a little heavy um, because, of you know, there's this idea of the 27 Club. Um, and may all those artists who have joined that club rest in peace and power. Um... You know, mental health is very important for me because I do struggle with it. Um, you know, I I have to deal with the uh, I deal with depression and anxiety. Um, and you know, at the beginning of the semester, I took on a lot of responsibilities, and I got to a point where I. I felt like I couldn't handle anything. I couldn't handle being an adult. I couldn't handle existing. I couldn't handle having a puppy, um, having a relationship. You know, there's a lot of things that just weighed on me and weighed on the intrusive thoughts that I started to have. And, you know, those intrusive thoughts got extremely uncomfortable. And I didn't want to. I didn't know how to cope because I didn't, I didn't want to deal with it. Um, so, praying the twenty somethings don't kill me is representative of me, you know, dealing and coping with my mental health and, you know, making sure that I survive every day. So, yeah. Um, Initially, when I started working on this box, that song, the that that those three lines were on rotation in my head. Like I kept singing it to myself, and I was like, "That's what the box is gonna be about. That's that's what the box is gonna be about. Twenty somethings. It's gonna be about me being in my twenties, me growing, me looking back at you know twenty one year old me in twenty seventeen. Realizing that, you know, I made mistakes, I made memories, but I've grown, and I love myself for it. Um, also, 2017 was the year that I went back uh, to school to start uh, the art program at SMC, so, you know... This is basically me telling me that I'm proud of me. And I love me for being proud of me. And I love me for, you know, being the resilient person that I am. So, you know, that's that's how you portray self-love. Well, that's how I portrayed my self-love. Um, so, yeah. All right, let's move on to the candle wax. So, you're probably thinking, um, what's the candle for? What's the, what's the wax for? I'll tell you what the wax is for. <laughs> so... Someone put me on TikTok over the summer, and once the once the semester started, I found myself on Witch Talk, um, and so I definitely took influence from that. Um, you know, I paid attention to the fact that uh, people would use candle wax to kind of seal those little potion bottles or like spell bottles, and um, I was like, okay, so candle is used to seal and contain something in so that's basically what I used it as you know I used it to seal in the energy that I put into making this um, and also I kind of used it as like you know it's it's not 
mainly just for like aesthetic but it's also for composition you know it, it frames the rest of the box you know the heart and the wire frame the heart the wires um, the lyrics frame the image and then the wax just frames everything else and then I have the last two buttons that I had left over I put them down here um, they kind of remind me of the etch -a sketch um, I like even old technology and their big buttons um, I just I got that vibe from it and um, I went with it and I love it and then at the end um, I actually added these stickers like a few days after finishing the box um, I just felt like it needed cats um, and I'm a cat person I love cats I have two cats used to have three one ran away um, before those three I had another cat which I actually have tattooed on me um, he's my baby um, so yeah this is 20 something and so you know major components that we need to take into consideration when you know making assemblage art is composition composition is very big um, because your first composition might not be your best idea um, and that's okay it's okay it's okay if you don't have you know if your first thought or idea you know isn't the best one that's why it's always good to experiment with compositions um, which is what you're going to do with this assignment um, what else I want you to also consider um, what image you want to use to portray yourself um, so how are you portraying your what are you portraying and how are you portraying it um, what themes are you trying to communicate what aesthetics are you trying to communicate um, for me you know it has you know a witchy aesthetic um, which I do like um, the themes that are consistent um, music mental health self-love um and i've already gone over the composition so yeah i think that pretty much covers it